In this video, I'm going to talk about why prime numbers, all prime numbers are of the form 6n plus 1 or 6n minus 1 where n is an integer. So let's try to understand. If you think about it, every number, every possible number, not just prime number has to be of the form 6n, 6n plus 1, 6n plus 2, 6n plus 3, 6n plus 4, 6n plus 5, right? Every single number has to be one of these six forms. So if you think about it, there can be no number essentially, which is not of any of these forms. Because if you pick any number when it's divisible, when it's divided by six, it has to leave a remainder of zero or one or two or three or four or five. There's no other possibility. It cannot leave a remainder of six <laughs> because we are dividing by six. So every single number is of the form this. Now, can this be a prime number? No, this is already a multiple of six. Can this be a prime number? No, it is already div divisible by two, right? Both the numbers are divisible by two, so it's definitely divisible by two. It cannot be a prime number. Can this be a prime number? So again, this is also divisible by two. It's an even number. Now, the only possibilities for prime numbers are these three. If you think about it, this is also not a prime number because it is divisible by three, right? You can take three common, then you'll have three, two n plus one. This is not a prime number, we can factorize it. So now if you think about it, we are left with just these two possibilities. Only these two numbers can be prime numbers. And this is essentially just one less than the next multiple of 6, right? 6n plus 6 would be multiple of 6. So this is just one less than that, right? So in a way, I can also write it as 6n plus 1 minus 1. So basically, a multiple of 6 minus 1. And this is a multiple of 6 plus 1. So you can see that only these two numbers can be prime numbers. So every prime number has to follow this pattern, right? I mean every prime number beyond 2 and 3. So those are smaller numbers, but every prime number above 3 has to be one of, has to be of one of these two forms because there is no other possibilities, right? The other four possibilities we can rule out directly because they are definitely not prime numbers. So the only two possibilities are this and that's why they are these are the only two prime numbers. So now you just don't need to remember that, yeah, every prime number has to be of these two forms. Now you, un you can understand why every prime number has to be of one of these two forms. Hope that helps.